identifying opium lettuce. So I have a whole nother video, but I'm gonna break it down for you very quickly. So what I have here is Lactuca cereola. And now the true opium lettuce species is Lactuca barosa. But many of the Lactuca species can be used medicinally. They're just not as potent as the varosa. So many, many of the Lactuca species grow wild across the US. This is our Lactuca cereola. Now here are the two main ways to identify that you have a wild lettuce species. Here is my Lactuca cereola, and if I take a leaf and if I flip it over, you will see these spines on the midrib of the leaf. All of the wild lettuce species will have this present. Sometimes these spines are not present with the Lactuca canadensis in its immature form, but I have not seen this, but it is something to be aware of. The second way to identify is if you were to cut the leaf and look at the midrib right here where my thumb is, it's a triangular shape. The common lookalikes like dandelion have a circular or oval shape. Now, anytime you break a wild lettuce species, you will see this white substance come out. That's the lactucarium. And it's where a lot of the medicinal benefits lie, but this alone will not be able to identify a wild lettuce species because even plants like dandelion have this milky white latex. Now with many of the lookalikes, like thistles, because they're all in the same tribe of plants, they have spines, but they do not run along the midrib of the leaf. Where I'm at in Colorado, the cereola just grows everywhere. It likes disturbed soils, so I can find it growing in the grocery store and the cracks between the pavements but this is the cereola and i have already made a tincture and the video will be up soon